All right, y'all. So I gotta tell y'all, I found this recipe online on TikTok. Are y'all on TikTok? Well, I look at it sometimes and I saw this girl, she made this like queso dip in her crock pot and she said it's like the like as good as restaurant queso. So I'm trying it. So I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I've never made this before. This is the first time, so you know what I figured? I'll just, I'll just do it with y'all and we can see how it turns out together, all right? I feel like it should be good, but we're gonna see. So y'all see I have my kitchen scissors here. I love using these. We're gonna take a pound of pepper jack cheese and then a pound of American cheese. Let me get this out of here. All right, now we're just gonna dump it all in. If I, man, I can't even get this out, y'all. This is hard. So we're gonna put both of these in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna cut them up in squares. I guess it helps it melt better. I don't know, that's what she did, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cut them up. I guess I could use a knife too, but this is much easier, much easier. All right, so one pound of pepper jack, one pound of American. We're putting this in the crock pot. This is perfect because I'm having a little gathering later, so I'm cooking a lot of yummy dishes today, and uh, I think this one will be a hit, hopefully. Hopefully it's good. All right, so I'm just gonna break these squares apart a little bit, just just roughly. I mean, I don't think it really matters, but again, this, I'm just trying to follow what she did, so uh, I guess she knows. It looked real good at the end, too, so we'll see. I'm gonna try it out, though. I'm gonna try it out. All right, y'all. All this cheese, so much cheese. I love cheese. What do y'all think? Have y'all ever made a queso in the crock pot? If you have, let me know. I want to know your recipe because I love queso. It's like my favorite thing to do. When I when I have a, an off day, I, I like to go to the local Mexican restaurant, have me a margarita and some queso and chips, and you know what? Life is good. Then life is good, y'all. All right. I know I'm just peeling this cheese apart for a long time, but okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so we have our cheese. Next, this is what she did too. She took two, oops, I spilled some. She took two cans of evaporated milk, all right? Two cans, so we're gonna dump these right on in. Just like so, all right. All right, now in her recipe, she put in a jalapeno. She chopped up a jalapeno and that was it. But I'm changing, you know, y'all know, I like to change mine a little bit. So we taking a can of Rotel and I'm gonna dump this whole can right on in. I drained out a lot of the juice, y'all. And then I also have here uh, these, uh, mild green chili. So I'm going to take like a spoonful of these and I'm just going to put it right on in. All right. So I'm going to kind of mix this. I mean, it's kind of hard to mix because we got these big old chunks of cheese, but I'm just going to kind of get the, the tomatoes in there. So yeah, like I said, y'all in her recipe, she just did the cheese, the evaporated milk and a whole jalapeno, chopped it up and put it in. But I don't know. I feel like I, I like when I have queso with some tomatoes and stuff in it. So we're going to try this. All right, y'all. So that's really it. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to cover this, and we're going to cook this on high for about two hours. But uh, I'm just going to eyeball it and see when all the cheese is melting, and I'm so excited to try this with y'all. All right, y'all, this has been on high in my crock pot for two hours, all right? So we got to mix it. Oh, wow. Okay, we got to mix it. Let's see. All right, it's a little more liquidy than I thought, but we'll see. Okay. So remember, y'all, I haven't tried this yet. This is like that viral TikTok queso, but actually, once you stir it, all right, all the cheese is melted, so that's good. It smells good. So you know what, y'all? I think it's time to try it. All right, and yes, I'm mixing it with a fork. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna move this over. I have a little platter here. Actually, this is a baking dish because I don't have a chip platter, but this, this is what we're gonna do, okay? So we're gonna ladle some of this cheese right into this bowl in the center. All right, I don't know. I kind of feel like, I feel like we need some more color. Should I put a few, I'm gonna put a few more of these chilies right on top, just like, like that. I mean, that's not very colorful, but whatever. <laughs> we trying. All right, uh, here, here, here it goes, y'all. Let's see. I'm gonna take one. We're gonna see if this is if this is as good as they say on TikTok. And remember, I changed it up a little bit though, but it's gonna be real hot. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Okay, stop dripping. All right. Okay, y'all. It's pretty good. You know what? I think I need to try it again to make sure it's good. It's pretty good. Mm. Okay, y'all, um, two things. One, it does taste like the kind you get at a restaurant, the queso. Two, it's a little bit spicy for my liking. I'm very sensitive, I know it's crazy, but I think those fire roasted tomatoes, next time I might not use, a, I might not use that because it's a little spicy, but it's real good, y'all. You should try it, you should try it. And if you make it and you do something different, let me know because I, I wanna know, I love queso. I'm just gonna keep eating this. All right, y'all, we are starting with two blocks of cream cheese. Yum, yum. There we go, one and two. All right. Next, y'all, 
I have uh, two cans of this Southwestern style corn. I drained it, so we're just gonna put this right on top. Like so, like so. Next, I have one can of Rotel, also drained. Right on top. I have one can of Dice Green Chilies, mild. And then I also have, y'all, one can of diced jalapenos. These are hot. Optional, y'all. If y'all don't like spicy, just use two cans of the green chili, all right? Next here, y'all, I have one packet of this cheesy taco seasoning. So we're going to put this right on in. We're just going to sprinkle, sprinkle right on top, like so. I also, in this recipe, like a little bit of garlic powder. I think it tastes good, so we're putting a good amount right on top. All right, just like that. Okay, y'all, next, I have some pepper jack cheese. I have eight ounces, so I just cut it up into little squares, which is totally fine. Eight ounces of pepper jack. And then I also have about four ounces of extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar makes everything better, y'all. All right, so just like that, uh, we just I'm just gonna give this a little mix, but it, it ain't really gonna mix because the cream cheese is whole. All right, yeah, that's great. Look at that. It looked prettier before, y'all. I shouldn't have even mixed it. All right, y'all, so this is just a quick, easy uh, appetizer. You can serve this with chips or whatever you want. But anyways, I'm gonna put this in my oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Y'all can also do this on the grill if you'd like. I'm so excited to show y'all this easy, spicy corn dip. All right, y'all, I just took this out of the oven a few minutes ago, so now we gotta give it a good mix, all right? So everything's melted, and now we're just gonna give it a nice mix. It's such an easy, delicious dip, appetizer. And I love making it in uh, this one of these foil pans because then I could just bring it outside for the barbecue. Easy cleanup. And that's that, y'all. So we're going to give this a nice mix. Remember, we have our cream cheese. We have our pepper jack cheese. Two cans of Southwest corn. A can of uh, chil diced chilies. One can of jalapenos. And if y'all don't like spicy, y'all can leave the jalapenos out. I also use one packet of cheesy taco seasoning. But y'all can use regular taco seasoning or whatever you'd like and uh, a can of Rotel, and then pepper jack cheese, and some sharp cheddar. All right, so we have this delicious, cheesy corn dip. Y'all can serve it with tortillas or chips or whatever you'd like. All right, y'all, so that's nice and mixed. I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, we gonna try this, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, look at this. We have our cheesy, spicy corn dip. Um, time to try it. So I know y'all can't see it right now. I was gonna transfer it to like a pretty plate and put it in my, like my chip and dip bowl but then I decided against it. So I'm about to have a little tortilla chip here and I'm gonna try it. Have y'all ever had these from Trader Joe's? I love these, they're so good. All right, time to try it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all, all right, y'all, you wanna know what? It's real good and it ain't even that spicy. I'm kind of sensitive, I don't like things too spicy, but it has a little kick from those jalapenos and the pepper jack, but it's nothing over the top. Y'all, this is perfect for like a summer barbecue, get together, you can make it on the grill. It's so good, y'all have to try this. All right, y'all, one brick of Velveeta in the crock pot. I cut it up in cubes to help it melt faster, all right? I'm so excited about this recipe. Here we go, y'all. All right, next, I have one pound of cooked Jimmy Dean sausage, the original kind. We're putting this right on in, just like that, all right. Now also here, I have a can of Rotel. All right, we love this stuff. It's good and everything. So we're just gonna put this right on top as well. So y'all, this recipe is a delicious queso recipe that I got from Sherry. Sherry, thank you so much. You put this in the comments of one of my videos. So you know what? I decided to make it. So this is what we do in here, all right? So next, we have a brick of cream cheese, eight ounces. So again, I cut this into some little cubes. Little cubes, that's a fun word to say, cubes. All right, so we putting that right on in, just like that. And you know what, my hands are dirty, but that's all right, don't matter, don't matter. They're dirty from the cheese, but I washed them before, all right, y'all, I already know the glove police gonna be on me about that one. All right, we're taking a little bit of sour cream, we're just gonna put like about a tablespoon, I think that's what Sherry said she does, so I'm gonna make sure we get, I'm gonna put a little more, I like me some sour cream. All right, Uh. We're gonna give this a little mix, but actually I don't even know if I know if, if it needs to be mixed right now. I'm just gonna like give it some little pats. Pat, 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 pat. That helps the flavors incorporate. Pat, 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 pat. Actually it doesn't, it's just fun to do y'all, all right? And you, you, know, you know me, I like to have fun. Fun is my middle name. All right, 
Green onion right on top. Sherry, I don't know if she did green onion, but you know what? It looks pretty. I love using green onion. It makes me happy, y'all. Um, and then we also going to do here a little bit of nothing else. That's it. I'm just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. All right, y'all, this is it. So I'm going to put my lid on this crock pot. And you know what? Um, I don't think Sherry said how long she cooks it, but I feel like queso is pretty easy. I'm going to put it on high for a little bit, and then I might switch it to low because really we just need all the cheeses to melt, and I'm so excited to try this queso, Sherry. Thanks for sharing with me. All right, y'all, so this queso has been heating up um, in my crock pot for about two hours. I had it on high for about the first 30 minutes, and then I switched it to low. So it's ready. We just got to mix it up. So again, this was uh, Sherry's recipe. So it was one brick of Velveeta, eight ounces of cream cheese, a can of Rotel, uh, about a tablespoon of sour cream, and then uh, a pound of cooked breakfast sausage. So I just used the Jimmy Dean original, all right? So she, uh, Sherry said every time she brings it anywhere for like gatherings and parties that people eat it all. I believe it because it smells delicious. So I did not mix it in between. Y'all saw, I just mixed it right now. I think that's fine. Um, Sherry, if you're watching, you can let me know what you do, but I don't know, it's, it smells real good. So this is what we're gonna do next, y'all. I'm gonna serve some of this up in a little bowl. This smells so good. I did make a crock pot queso recently, but I'm excited to try this one too, because you wanna know what? Queso's delicious. So if I have more than one good queso recipe, I'm gonna be so happy. Y'all don't even know. All right. So we got our queso, we got our chips. This is all for me. No one else can have any, all right? Let's see, I'm gonna have one of these chips first. All right, Cherry, I'm excited to try this. I have to get a nice chunk of this sausage, some cheese. I'm excited, y'all. I think this is going to be real good. Um, it's also going to be real hot. So, uh, Kevin, you want to say hi? I don't think he does. He said no. He shook his head. Isn't that silly? He shook his head. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Okay. Mmm. Sherry. This dip is so good. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all have to try this. This is so good. Life changing. All right, y'all. We have a big round circle of queso fresco. Now I'm going to take my cubed Velveeta. And yes, y'all, I'm using my cat's dish because I didn't, I didn't unload the dishwasher yet and this was clean. So this is what we're using, all right? So we're just going to put our Velveeta cubes right here. Next. We're gonna take a little bit of Colby Jack cheese. Now, I really like using this cheese for this recipe because it melts up real nice. So we're just gonna put that right over here, all right? All right, next, we're gonna use a can of diced tomatoes with green chili. I love using this in this recipe. So we're just gonna put this right here next to our Velveeta. And if you have some of the liquid in there, that's totally fine, all right? That's looking so good so far, y'all. All right, next here, we're gonna take a can. I have these uh, chopped green chilies, okay? We're gonna put this right here next to our Velveeta. Right, make sure we get all that out. All right, next, we have some green onion, fresh green onion. I love using this in this recipe, okay? So we're just gonna put that right on next to our tomatoes. We have some fresh garlic here. Now I love garlic, so we're gonna take a big spoonful, maybe about that much, and we're just gonna put this right next to our green chilies, all right? Just like so, I think that's good. You just need about one spoonful. All right, and now what we're gonna do here, I have here some cooked sausage. Now this is the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, which is what I really like using in this recipe. But y'all, you can use whatever kind of meat you'd like, or you can even leave it vegetarian. Uh, ground beef will be good in here, ground turkey. You could also just leave it vegetarian, whatever you'd like. All right, so now what we're gonna add here, we're just gonna fill up this empty space. I'm gonna use a little bit more Velveeta because I still have this cubed. All right, we're just gonna put it right in there. Oh, this is looking so good, y'all. A little bit more Velveeta. And then we're gonna put a little bit more of our Colby Jack. Actually, we're just gonna use the rest of it, all right? This is a dip, a nice, delicious dip. And then we're gonna put a little bit more of our green onion right there. All right, y'all, so this is looking great. Remember, we have our sausage, our garlic, our green chilies, Velveeta, tomatoes, green onion, and lots of cheese. All right, so now we got 
One more step, we almost done here. I'm gonna take a little bit of onion powder. This is real good for flavoring this and we're just gonna sprinkle it right on top of everything, all right? All right. We also, this is my secret ingredient. We're gonna take a packet of this mild taco seasoning. If you wanna use hot, you can, but I like the mild. And we're just gonna sprinkle this all the way around, all right? All the way around, like so. All the way around. All right, y'all. So that is about it. We're gonna take this and put this in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 15 minutes until all this starts melting. All right, y'all, so I just took this out of the oven. It's real hot. So you see once the cheese starts cooking a little bit and everything starts melting, that's exactly where we want it to be, all right? So I'm gonna leave one of my oven mitts on because this is still real hot. And we're just gonna start mixing this up, all right? So we have our queso fresco right in the middle, all right? And then we have our Velveeta and our meat. And we're just gonna mix this all around together, all right? Just like so. Oh my God, y'all, I'm so excited. This is so good. Oh, wow. This is going to be delicious. It's going to be so good. All right. So now, once we mix it a little bit, this is going to go back in the oven because we're going to add one more thing. All right, y'all? We're going to add one more thing. We want to make sure we get all these ingredients mixed together like so. We got all of our delicious cheese. All right. So once you give it a nice rough mix, we're going to add some salsa, all right. I like using the mild, but you can use whatever you'd like. So we're just gonna pour this right on top. And we're gonna use, we can use the whole jar. <laughs> Y'all, so I had to think about that for a minute, okay? And then we also gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. We want this to be a little bit creamier, so we definitely need this. So we're just gonna put that right on top, all right? So we're gonna give this another little mix. And then we're gonna put this back in the oven at 375 for about 10 more minutes, y'all. And I am so excited to show y'all this delicious party dip that y'all are gonna love. All right, y'all. So this was just in the oven for about 10 more minutes. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit more. Oh, there we go. This is exactly how we wanted it. We got that, that queso fundido mixing nicely. All right, this is perfect, y'all. We got our meat in there. Now remember y'all, you can make this vegetarian or you can have the meat in there. I just use the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage because I like that flavor, but you can use whatever you like really, all right? So once we give that a nice little mix, we got, oh, oh man, I love making this dip. It's really one of my favorite things to make. All right, y'all. So we're just gonna move this over to the side. And y'all see right here, I have my little, my little party tray ready. So I'm just gonna scoop some of this queso right into the middle here into our little serving bowl and i like using these regular tortilla chips but you can serve it with crackers you can do whatever you'd like y'all whatever you'd like i'm just gonna fill this up to the top it's gonna be so good and it's a nice big portion so you have plenty to feed everyone okay y'all all right oh this is looking so good all right y'all i gotta try it it's gonna be real hot but we're gonna try it i think it's gonna be so good i mean i know i made this before but you know, each time. I was, I'm, I'm always like, I hope it's good. I hope it's as good as last time. Look how hot that is, y'all. It's hot. Mmm. So good.